Hello, welcome to uh, lesson five. Well, now I am putting everything in one file, which is generally for very small programs. I do like to put my functions at the top, but we have to get used to putting functions and other things in other files as we head towards object orientation. So what I'd like to do in this lesson is take these two functions and build up a network of files um, so that we keep everything cleanly encapsulated within their own files. So the first system we need to build up is we need to we need to put this divisor function somewhere so let's need to grab this divisor function and uh, and put it somewhere so let's try and do that now the first thing we need to do is your mileage will vary depending on which system uh, which ide integrated development environment you're running but uh, this is how my system works anyway i just need to add a new file uh, add a file to hello world Oh, wrong, uh, did the wrong thing there, didn't I? Hang on, let's just do this. Okay, new file. That's better. Uh, I need a new header file. Uh, I'm going to call that divisor. Um, there we go, that'll do. Yeah, let's replace it. That's one I did earlier. Here we go. Now, we get this special code here. Don't worry too much about this. This is basically setting up a global kind of directive thing. Uh, and if it's not if it's not defined, then defining it. Uh, and what we have to put in here, we have to put that special declaration that we saw here. So this is a prototype declaration, and it tells C++ what this function is going to look like later. Now you don't even need these names, but I always think it's useful to put them in just so you uh, just so you know what they are. You're basically saying, here I am, this is what I'm going to look like, this is what I'm going to return. I'm going to return a double, I'm going to take two values, a double and another double, and my name is divisor. So it's a bit like, um, a, bit like a, a badge at a conference. This is your conference badge going in this header file. And you get some nice text here depending on what your IDE is. Okay, let's get back to the main program. Now, if I try to... I don't know what happened there. If I try to now... Um, run the program, it'd be okay because I've got this stuff here. But what I need to do is I need to put this into its own file as well. So let's set up another new file. I'll probably get another message saying you've already got this file. I deleted it earlier. I was testing this out. It's going to be a C++ class. I'm going to call this uh, divisor CPP. And create that. Again, don't worry about too much about that. It depends on your... Uh, uh, that's all right. I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, this includes that prototype thing, because the C++ needs to know what the function is going to look like. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this from here. Um, and stick it in its own C++ class, which is just there. <coughs> there we are. So that's all hunky diddly in there. Um, now, this won't work. I'm going to compile this now. And there we have a few. Build failed. Anyway, don't worry too much about those errors. The build failed. Okay, so why is that? Now, the reason why is because this program now is calling divisor and it has no idea what it is or where it is or what the code is. You can see it stopped being green there. So, what we need to do is tell this main program where that file all those files are so we're going to include that cheeky header file so device all there we are there it is it's all there i've got rid of the dot h let's put the dot h in for header and now when we compile it fingers <laughs> crossed i'm crossing my fingers here for all these errors the build succeeded fantastic so let's put all the usual numbers in hundred thousand uh five percent interest rate 30 alone. Super, we've got all those bits and pieces here. So we've got the divisions here. That division there by 12. That division there by 100. 
working perfectly even though there's no code for divisor anywhere in this main file. Now we're going to do this just the same thing with this multiplier function. Okay, so all the code is in here. It's all encapsulated in there. The, the header file is there saying prototype is a forward declaration of what the, fu um, the function is. Uh, that line is read into <clears throat> this program. Ah. Oh, my IDE's gone mad. There we are. That is read in here. And so it knows what it is. It knows what it is. And then it's going to link in this particular file because it knows what to look for. It needs to, it needs to go and find that. And that's all going to be driven by the C++ system with all these directives and so on. Okay, let's go back to the main program. Now you can see here that we've got this multiplier function. We want to get this out of the way as well. So what we're going to do is uh, once again just create a new file. This is going to be called multiplier.h. Let's type it in multiplier.h. Yeah, whatever. Um, put the prototype declaration inside the header file so everyone knows what we're looking for. There's that there. Stick that there. Semicolon on the end. That's super. Uh, we now need to go back to the main program again and what we have is we need to get this code out and put this into its own little file too. So new file C++ class uh, multiply probably get an error again here yeah 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 okay no problem keep the Xcode version right and then we put that code we'll just take it out of there stick it into the C++ file some nice uh, stuff up there. Now again this won't work because we don't have the header file to tell the main program where to go and look for stuff. So let's just run it. It should fail. Save anyway. Yeah it's failed. So what we need to do then is include a direction to go and find that header file which will tell us everything we need to know about this function, so we've got that there. Dot H, super. Now, has this gone green? Yes, it's gone green now, that's great, isn't it? So let's just run that. Build succeeded, superb. 100,000, 5%, and 30 alone. And everything's working. We're multiplying 12 times 30 to get 360, even though there's no code there. And again, we're, we're sort of on our way towards object orientation. We have these separated files. Later on, each file will be a class. Um, and then the objects will be created from the classes, all from their own separate files. I think that's probably enough for the moment.